Back in the car, it's 5.15 a.m. and we are headed down to BRC. Super light and breezy, the weather looks great. I hope it's not too hot today. Hopefully we do well today because one, I have not driven this car on track. Two, I have not shaken it down. Three, it's not the fastest car there. So I'm going to be somewhere on the, I guess, third or fourth in terms of time. So it might be race skills at the end of the day. But right now we are entering the highway already. Up, getting some gas wonder we're just gonna top it up basically we are still like over three-fourths so we don't need much fuel we have arrived on track we stole the garage first because they said people would crew in the garage and I have no crew but first come first serve right I heard the early birds there's our organizer what's up easy Hey, good morning! We actually just cracked the front lip going down the tunnel. Boom! Now I need to ask Keith for a new front lip. That sucks. Early morning bugs. But hopefully everything will be okay today. So first gear, second gear, the car doesn't feel like it's much stronger. But on third and fourth, the car is pulling really hard. So super excited to see how this car performs. We got the new carbon ceramic brakes also on. Um, the car needs a small alignment. It is pulling right just a little. Uh, I don't know if I need to set the arrow harder or not. Um, I didn't bring any tools, so I don't think we're going to get to do anything today. We do have a ton of stuff in the car, so we're actually gonna get some breakfast out first and move all the stuff out. Brought my breakfast, it's kinda cold. This is farro and this is plant-based tapa with chickpeas and my electrolyte drink. Got the DDE hat and a rep, although I didn't bring an exotic today. M4 is a beater, I guess. What up, bro? What up? Should I join your class? Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, no, that means I'll be further down the line. <laughs> no, <laughs> I already expect to be mid-grid. What, what's your time now with, with your practice yesterday? My quickest, 1.59. 1.59, so so I broke, broke two. two. Good. And six, se six second improvement from last year. I don't know if it'll make you feel bad, but the Miata's doing I know. 1.57. But Gabby, not me, I was doing a 2.01 with the Miata. My car's heavy. <laughs> and I need practice. Oh, we all need practice. I mean, when Gabby posted two to three seconds faster than me. I'm like, wow, I'm so slow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I need to learn this track more and uh, be guts here. But Gabby is a pro driver, so. Okay, briefing. It's racing legend Marlon Stockinger. <laughs> Just finished briefing. What's up, what's up? Hi, good morning. Good morning, how are you? How are you? Good morning. Good morning. The ETC, the late club group. <laughs> These are my headaches right now. Oh, I'm not part of it. No, you, you're fine, you were early. Early bird gets the garage. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Here are the Just fastest the drivers, so Marlon know, yeah. and Moon. Yeah. <laughs> no jump starts, huh? The one, two, three, I know, four. I know, I know, it goes with <laughs> Marlon's running this for Alfredo. It's an old 190. Apparently you're briefing again, but I'm gonna skip briefing. Check out the lineup. Over here we have an E30. This is Mike's E34. Got some more BMWs in the back. No one seems to want to pit beside me. I wonder why. There's the Mustang boys. Yeah. So 
apparently there is no more practice session. It's straight to qualifying. Right now the classic Mini Coopers are running. Next will be the Sick Lay Track Day group and then it'll be the ETCCA, which is hopefully what I'm in. And then after that will be the ETCCB and then there'll be a first race in the morning and then a second race in the afternoon and then that's done. I think we're only doing about seven to ten laps, I'm not quite sure. Qualifying is also our practice session. Hopefully the car holds up. We have 15 minutes and I will maximize every single minute. My heart is racing a little. I don't know why I'm a bit nervous. Always happens during races or track days. I feel like I need to perform. But then again, I should also have fun, right? Today is about enjoying the car that we've built and seeing if all the parts that we put in make sense. Oh, I wish my heart rate would slow down. <laughs> I got stuck behind Alfredo and Marlon in the BMW and Benz. I think I could have done a 152. But then again, uh, the car does need some help. We do need extra camber in the front. The car feels like it's skipping lanes, which means maybe I need to dial down the stiffness just a little. Um, I'll figure it out, but I don't think we're going to be anywhere near the front. Moon is probably leading the pack. Let's go look for our official time. <laughs> this is the fastest guy here, which is Moon and Anton. Tell him we're gonna dive bomb him on the first corner. This is the number three car. This is a 991.2. The Manti Racing Wing. Here's Richard's car. What's your time? 47? Yeah, 47. Galeng. But you're faster in your car. Here is the car that is leading the grid. GT4. Driven by Moon, and it's a manual. Hopefully, my plan goes to plan, and we will beat Anton to the first corner. We're just 0.25 seconds off. I think I really would have caught up if I didn't run into Marlon and Alfredo, but that's racing and qualifying. Good luck! Good luck! shots of screw but I'm now gonna get suited up so we can go line up for the grid. Just seven laps today. Seven laps versus the endurance race. It's a walk in the park. <laughs> Good luck to everyone. Hope it's a safe race.
upper bucket seat. The car is on limp mode and I need to grab a scanner. I'm gonna ask Sin Alfredo if they have a scanner, but that's it for today, folks. Okay, we are slowly packing. I'm gonna scan the car. Stu's gonna join us for lunch. Good fun, did some skids, but we're so far from getting third. Even our takeoff was ridiculous. We were just super sideways on takeoff. Yeah, I think the O2 sensor is acting up. It's misfiring badly. Looks like I burned the oxygen sensors and we're misfiring because of the burnt oxygen sensor. So the car is not going to be able to complete the afternoon race. And it's fine because again, we're not in any way able to catch up to the Porsches. Just hoping that we can limp the car home or I can feel it. Even the idle of the car is a bit rough. So we still have the fault coming out. <sighs> okay, update. I just called Camel Toe. They're gonna come pick up the car and send it to 2233. And then I called my driver and hopefully they'll all be here in the next three hours, which means I'm still gonna get to watch the next race. For now, just chill and then maybe do a lot of B-roll of all the cars here. And then after that, um, we're gonna go pick up the 992 and then get on with the week um, hopefully the guys at 2233 can fix the car um, I think I'm gonna look for cup 2 tires that will fit these wheels and maybe front camber plates to get more front end grip um, the car has too much power during takeoff I just spun all the wheels and yep it's it's fun as a drift car but not good to chase down Porsches Plenum, or maybe a leak somewhere but not good the car's not idling and he loses power it goes on limp mode so camel toe said they're about 20 minutes away my driver also is maybe 30 minutes away so hopefully by the time we load the car 
we can then send it to garage 2233 i will pick up the 992 this afternoon and then we have a few mods to do to the car this morning i was saying i wanted to sell the car but now i want to fix it because it is the underdog for the race so we need to add some camber plates some cup two tires and then a sport catalytic because i think i burned the stock catalytic we're going to find out exactly what happened to that the o2 sensors also gave way the coil packs and I might as well change all the other sensors as well just to refresh the car so the etcc bracket a is done right now they are running the etcc bracket b thank you so much to the organizers and thank you to everyone who participated it's such a fun race uh, i want to say congratulations to moon and richard d for winning first place and then i'll see you guys again in the next video we're just gonna load the car and uh, thank you to Camelto and my driver for hooking me up today. It is a Sunday and I bugged them to come pick me up. So I'll see you guys again in the next video. Peace. Pretty lucky that the tow truck arrived along with my driver. So we're now gonna load the car. And then after that, we're gonna end the vlog. Thanks again, Camel Toe and my driver for picking me up today. The car is severely misfiring. It wouldn't have been a smart decision to drive this down in this condition. Hey okay, guys, this is gonna go straight to Garage 2233 and we're gonna unload it for them later. So for now, we're gonna jump in our <laughs> trusty Innova by Dolph. Get out of here. We are here in garage 2233 and we're gonna pick up the GT3 and go home, have some dinner, and then come back to unload. I'm so tired. It was just such a hot day today. We're back in business. Change car.